Hi everyone, Medina here, and I'm coming to you today to share some important information with you. And due to the information, I did feel a bit under the weather, but I really wanted to bring this to you. So I'm recording it regardless. I hope it's really helpful for you. So what I wanted to share with everyone was that, you know, there's been all sorts of informations about, and I have to watch my words because I have recently just got a strike. So uh, CEM. T-R-I-A-L-S, put the word across here. There's been information about them lately. People are looking up in the sky and seeing, you know, the crosses, that sort of thing. There's a great meme on this. I'll just share it with you here. And there has recently been information that these have been counteracted by the good guys, the white hats, with uh, positive things also being sprayed up there now that are no longer, um, you know, nefarious. However, my experience, and I just wanted to share this with everyone listening and see if you also have comments on this, was that this weekend we had unusual inclement weather where it was raining a lot and where I live it's always beautiful weather so this is in itself quite unusual and obviously there was you know a lot of clouds prior to the rain happening on the Saturday and the Sunday this weekend and when the uh, rain began both myself and my partner started to get really bad reaction. We were both sneezing heavily, had really bad congestion, had itchy eyes. It wasn't a cold because I don't get colds. I haven't had colds for ages, uh, but it was symptoms of a cold. Now, I know that with radiation poisoning, while the symptoms are very similar to cold, like or flu-like symptoms so that's interesting in itself and you know when this rain began really heavily we just had this immediate you know really strong reaction and it lasted all weekend I'm still it's a Monday today and I'm still getting over it. I'm not feeling 100% still although I've been doing a lot of protocols which I'm going to talk about in a minute because I don't like to share something that is perceived as a negative without talking about the positive aspect of solutions and things that we can do. So therefore, it seemed to me somewhat coincidental that we had this really bad reaction, both of us, right when the rain began. And another thing that I noticed too recently, when I put out, I had a plant that I bought and it was going really well, looking super healthy under our porch. And I'd just give it water from our filtered water system and it was booming, it was looking lovely. Then one time I put it out under the rain and from that point it got some sort of disease or fungus and from this point now it's just about died. So that was interesting that I put this plant out under the rain and that was when it got really sick and is now just about to um, go heads up. So this is another indication that there's stuff happening up there in um, the rain. And it's interesting that the symptoms that I had of the cold were symptoms of, you know, sort of radiation poisoning. And you wonder with these uh, CHEM trails that we're talking about, you know, they talk about um, different things in them uh, that connect with the that sort of, sort of stuff in our bodies. So had a really intense reaction. Right at that time, somebody else who's a major activist in the area said that he was having challenges and wanted some extra ideas for uh, support and protection. So that happened right at the same time as well. He contacted me. 
because uh, I have a light worker team that do work. If anyone out there needs extra support, we have a light worker team that I work with that does some fantastic remote distant healing as well. So these are quite a few interesting coincidences, uh, quotation marks. And what I want to share with you now are some of the ways that I um, work on protocols for these types of things. So one of the protocols is, and I'm just going to grab it, so I've got it, <laughs> the annoying symptoms of the uh, cold and flu type symptoms are things like itchy eyes, congestion, sneezing, bit of an itchy throat. And then it was actually so bad that I even got a little bit of, which I ne very rarely get, asthma so that I had uh, like a bit of wheezing as well, which is not good. Because again, one of the symptoms of these um, things that are sprayed in the sky, the nefarious things, are respiratory effects Effect, affecting your lungs and breathing with the stuff that, you know, they have been spraying. I think it's the A-L-U-M and the B-A-R-I-A-M and all that sort of stuff. I can't say the words. But the protocol that I use that is really helpful is what's called, and here's the box here, a neti pot easing nasal congestion. So it clears out all your nasal passages. This is what it looks like, a, a neti pot, yeah? And you put in it um, Celtic salt, so really good quality salt. One of the best ones which has the most minerals is Celtic salt. Um, Barbara O'Neill really recommends that. And you fill that up with warm water and Celtic salt, and then you tip it down one side of your nose and it goes right through and comes out the other and it cleanses all the nasal passageways and then you do it on the other side and you sort of tip your head on the side and do it that way and it's really good at cl clearing any sort of congestion or build up in the sort of passages there so that's one really good way the other thing that's very interesting about the neti pot is that it by doing that it helps to open the third eye the pineal gland as well so it's very good spiritually and uh, Indian people are renowned for having uh, a very low percentage of colds and they often do this as just like a daily protocol um, in India uh, as part of their health regime. So that, that's interesting as well. So the neti pot is one thing that you can do for this. And mm -hmm. another thing I'm guided to use when these things happen is uh, very high levels of vitamin C. Here is a great source of vitamin C that I found at my local health food shop recommended to me by a homeopath. And this one is a very high level powder vitamin C. And again, it's not one of the pharmaceutical companies that has this product, which I don't necessarily trust them. This is uh, in a different independent one very high levels of vitamin C in um, powder form. So that is a wonderful way to counteract any of those effects as well. Then I also have something called the Healy Quantum Frequency Device. This is incredible. I think this has really helped me get through the last three years <laughs> with my health, I tell you. All my family use it all the time. It's brilliant. It has over 140 programs. And some of the programs that I use for it, for this particular situation of these types of symptoms are the uh, defense program, which is for the immune system, building the immune system. Then there's uh, a whole array of protection programs. Under the heading protection programs, there's general protection, which is overall protection. Then there's subtle protection, which is, you know, subtle forms of protection. And if I keep linking my nose, it's because I'm about to sneeze. But again, I'm just getting through all these symptoms at the moment. Uh, and then I'm very good considering, you know, what this 
energy that came, you know, toward us was pretty strong. So anyway, I don't know if anyone else felt it this weekend, but I'm in the Redcliffe area and um, love to hear if anyone else has experienced that as well here. So there's the uh, immune program, the protection programs, and there's a whole group of protection programs like general protection, then there's subtle protection, there's geopathy uh, protection. There's also cell harmony to harmonize the cells. They did a study of this and for someone that had an unhealthy cell under 50% healthy cell, they did the one hour program of the cell harmony on Healy and they had a over 75% healthy cell after that. So I've got a video about that below as well, just showing, you know, what they found when they used one hour of this cell harmony program. There's also other programs on there that are helpful for this particular thing. There's things like in the deep cycle programs, which go to the root of the problem, said deep, deep uh, programs. One of them is called, um, it's to do with the breath. Flow of life, I think it's called, but it's a breath uh, program. So that helps you with your breathing. And that was also very helpful. And I noticed that when I was um, the first night, Saturday night, that I was really getting these symptoms, I found it hard to sleep because of that. And then I put myself on to some of these Healy programs and I was able to go straight to sleep, which was brilliant. So Healy is at the moment something that's really supporting health in so many ways. And if anyone's interested, I'll leave some links below where you can research more information on Healy. I'm also, I'll be transparent to say I'm a, uh, also someone who is an affiliate with them. So if you go to the link below um, to order, um, you know, I'll be uh, in your sort of upline and, and be able to support you on your Healy journey if that's something that you uh, resonate with. But such a brilliant addition to our health regime is this product at the moment. And there's, of course, plenty more things that you can do for this type of issues. Uh, of course, swimming in the ocean is a good one. I went swimming on Friday, but unfortunately, the whole thing hit on Saturday. So that didn't help. But uh, now the water's all mucky and brown and things, so it doesn't look very inviting at the moment. I don't think I'll be swimming today. But, you know, the ocean water, of course, cleanses all your passageways, and that's good as well. Or a salt bath, you know, with um, Epsom salts, always blessing the water. Celtic salt doing a detox bath, if you can. It's always a great thing. I have a great detox bath protocol if anyone's interested. And just uh, email me. And uh, so just be vigilant at the moment because to me this is really interesting that this all happened right now and as we know we're in a spiritual war and the dark are desperate so they're using all their last minute tricks who knows what's going on in terms of the frequency weaponry at the moment and everything else too so not that we want to give that energy uh because the light are winning <laughs> we know that uh so that is the latest information there that I wanted to share with people and just to hear if other people are experiencing this too because I think once we talk about it, you know, it's helpful, you know, that we're experiencing these things. Uh, I'd like to finish today by sharing with you a poem that uh, I was given by the divine, I think it was a couple of days before I went on the Sasha Stone show with Alex Ling, Dr. Alex Ling. And I feel very much that this poem was given to me to share on Sasha's show for whatever reason. And so I, I shared it on there and just the timing, you know, it came out very strongly just before I went on there. So I shared it. I don't know how relevant it was to the show. <laughs> I think it was, but anyway, it, it, it's a powerful uh, poem and I, it's one I think that is important to be heard. So I'm going to share it with you now and if it resonates with you, uh, this video, please share it, subscribe, like and share. It really helps the algorithms 
and helps to counteract any of the uh, things that are going on with censorship that we know are happening on YouTube and the other social media channels. So here is my poem. It's called Moral Decay, Losing Our Way. Moral decay, losing our way. When there is no ability to discern the basic difference between right and wrong. Moral decay, losing our way. When the ability to enforce personal boundaries diminishes. Moral decay, losing our way. When the personal responsibility for thoughts, words and actions is lost. Moral decay, losing our way. When any form of hurt or harm to others is acceptable on any level. Moral decay, losing our way. When everything goes and all the lines of decency are blurred. Moral decay, losing our way. When society becomes open to everything and loses its ability to voice the word no. Moral decay, losing our way. When the ability to self-discipline and self-determine one's journey becomes lost in the throng of the crowd. Moral decay, losing our way. When our mind, our hearts, our humanity become overtaken by an external force. Moral decay, losing our way. When we lose the ability to simply care about ourselves or others. Moral decay, losing our way. When the inner voice of reason and intuition becomes drowned out by the noise of many. Moral decay, losing our way. When the peer pressure to conform, to obey, to be silenced, overtakes the will to speak and the will to be heard. Moral decay, losing our way. When freedom becomes a distant concept that has been lost in translation. Moral decay, losing our way. When a soul loses sight of their connection to the divine or the noble voice that resides within. Moral decay, losing our way. When the strict guardianship of our defenseless and our children becomes a distant memory. This is when a society is lost. And that was the poem that was channeled to me a few weeks ago. So I hope that that resonates with you. To me, it's a really important message. It's really profound. And I remember being told um, at least 25 years ago by a spiritual teacher that humanity would get to a point where everything would be permissible. There'd be no more boundaries anymore. And people would have to make their own free will, personal choice about what they thought was acceptable in their reality or not. And this is exactly what's happened now. So it's so fascinating that that was foretold to me. It was 25 to 30 years ago. And I thought, oh, I can't imagine that ever happening. But, of course, you look at... Uh, the complete lack of any sort of boundaries with all sorts of things. And that's exactly what's happened. But it's because humanity is now being asked to choose what they think is appropriate as humanity moves forward. So that's the importance of having a voice. And <coughs> my voice <laughs> was somewhat... Uh, suppress this weekend with the CM trail. So that's an irony right, right there. Thank you so much for listening and please join me on my next video coming up and leave your comments below about what you're experiencing with what is happening in our skies at the moment. Thank you. Lots of love. Bye.